Having the right equipment to do work necessary for video and audio engineering can be a very expensive thing to accomplish. I live in an apartment so I wanted something powerful enough but not too big and bulky for me to do the things I needed to do. So I thought getting a Mac Mini would be perfect for my needs but didn't think the type of hardware that Apple has chosen to make this Mac Mini would be the best bang for my buck. So I did a little looking around and I stumbled across the other manufacturers of mini PCs and uh, the Intel NUC seemed to have caught my eye. Um, so I went ahead and I got the fourth generation Intel i5 NUC bare bones kit to uh, make a Hackintosh and I wanted to show you how quickly the thing boots up. Uh, so take a look. Now, I do have an SSD installed here in this computer, so boot up times are expected to be fast anyways. Um, but, I mean, this little thing just trucks along, especially with the type of processor it's got in here. Um, the kernel has been modified to accommodate the different power states that the i5 processor has to, uh, to go through to, to utilize its full potential. Um, other than that, I really think I should make a video on how to install the operating system rather than just show you how cool it is because man it was really daunting task to get this thing to boot up for the first time and uh, a lot of headache and, and stress that I think uh, more people would benefit from knowing how to get through. <laughs> now I did stutter there a little bit but just wanted to show you um, you know, it like, from completely off, it just boots up like a champ. And, uh, I, I think I should get along to showing you guys how it actually does with real-world applications, so I think I'll get to that. Solid-state drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a dual-core, multi-threaded processor, uh, alongside this really neat, tiny package that Intel's put together. Uh, has proven to do the things I needed it to do, like video and audio editing. So check out how quickly this computer boots up uh, with those programs to be booted at the same time as soon as it starts up. And uh, you might be surprised, this little thing can do it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm, I'm really glad you guys uh, stopped by and took a look at what I've got here to show you. and. If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, this is my first time doing this type of thing, so uh, you know I know I suck. <laughs> uh, I know I'm missing a lot of important information, but again, in the comments, you know I'd like to have a conversation about different things. What do you guys want to see in future videos? I want to do a tutorial on how to actually construct the Intel NUC Hackintosh. Um, ba basically, I've got all the information from uh, this website called TonyMacX86.com where there's been a lot of people that are diehard uh, you know mini Mac Mini Hackintosh people so they they really enjoy doing that kind of thing and, and if you wanna go and check that stuff out now before I release my new video I definitely advise you to go do so I'll post a link in the description below to the website and specifically the, the uh, Intel NUC Hackintosh forum um, but yeah, this has been great. Um, please subscribe if you feel like there's any hope for me in the future, and, and uh, I'll get to see you soon. So thanks again.